Assalamu alaikum. Welcome dear EMP students in the pediatric department. Today's lecture is about term and weight problems in neonates and I am Dr. Maha Hassan Muhammad, professor of pediatrics and neonatology in Shams University. This is the intending learning outcomes. By the end of this lecture, you should be able to classify newborns according to gestational age, weight and weight for gestational age. To know how to estimate gestational age, to identify causes and measure problem of preterm delivery, and to manage preterm newborns and related problems in the last year. To know causes and complications of postterm units, to recognize causes and complications of intrauterine growth restriction, and to identify causes and complications of large forestation age units. Classification of the newborn. How the newborns are classified? First, they are classified according to their gestational age. A full-term unit is the one who finished 37 weeks of gestation inside the uterus, 37 to 41 weeks and 6 days, while a preterm is the one who didn't complete 37 weeks of gestation. A post-term is the one who completed 42 or even more weeks of gestation. They are class new pre newborns are classified according to birth weight into normal birth weight from 2,500 till 3,999 and large birth weight or macrosomic 4 kilograms or even more low birth weight less than 2,500 grams he may be either preterm or small for gestational age very low birth weight less than 1,500 grams and extremely low birth weight less than 1,000 grams on the left, there is a, this is a normal birth weight unit, while on the right, this is a low birth weight unit. And last, we, are, we, have, we can classify units according to size for gestational age. They are classified either small for gestational age, those whose birth weight is less than the 10th percentile for gestational age, and appropriate for gestational age, the, those neonates with birth weight is between 10th and 90th centile for gestational age and large for gestational age whose birth weight is more than the 90th centile. This is the birth weight in relation to gestational age percentiles. Gestational age is plotted on this axis, on the x-axis in weeks. Birth weight is plotted over the y-axis in grams. And here are, are the, the, the percentiles from the 10th till the 90s. This is the 10th, this is the 3rd, 25th, 50th, 75th, 90th, 97th. From 10th to 90th is within normal or appropriate for gestational age. Weight is appropriate for gestational age. Below the 10th percentile, it is small for gestational age. Above the 90th percentile, it is large for gestational age. On the left, this is a large for gestational age unit, weight above the 90th centile for age. On the right, this is a small for gestational age unit, that's to say, birth weight is less than the 10th percentile for age. And now we are going to talk about the preterm unit or a prematurity. A preterm neonate's birth occurs through the end of the last day of 37th week following the onset of last menstrual period. That say, less than 37 weeks of gestation. The instance is approximately 8% of live births, almost 2% are less than 32 weeks of gestation. See how tiny a preterm can be? How can we assess gestational age? First, we can ask the obstetrician. He can tell us from the, the date of the last menstrual period or date of examination of the first heart sound, which is almost from the 10, 10 to 12 weeks of gestation. Fetal, fetal quickening or movement is on 16th to 18th week of gestation or antenatal ultrasound. While postnatal, we can do rapid delivery room assessment through the measurements and the physical findings and accurate is ass assessment can be done by combination of physical and neurological criteria using the new Ballard score.